doing just fine before I met you. I drink too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Hey, you tell your friends it was nice to meet them, but I hope I never see them again. I know it breaks your heart. Hey guys, so I'm actually like sick, so I'm sorry about my voice. But um, yeah, besides that. So I am actually going to be doing a iPhone 7 review and opening because I haven't opened it yet. They've only opened it to take out the phone and put the screen protector on it. But I haven't actually like opened it and started the phone. So I figured I'd do that now just to show you guys. So yeah. So here's my iPhone 7 that I just got today. It's 128 gigabytes. Um, it is in rose gold, and I'm gonna actually open it now. Ooh, okay. So here's the phone. This is the first thing. So it just has like screen protector around it, which is good because I need that. Um. But here's how it looks, and then here's the back of it, so it's in rose gold, it's really really pretty, yeah, I mean, so this is the iPhone 7, there's no um, headphone jack, so that's just kind of weird, but whatever, and then there's other stuff here in the box, I have the, the famous headphones with the little like piece that goes into the phone so you can plug your headphones in there whatever so here is what it looks like then I have the little piece that goes into the wall the little thingy and then I have the phone wire charger thingy so that's everything that came in this box basically um, yeah so here's the iPhone it's still it's not on but now it's turning on I just turned it on um, and then here is my phone case it's just a clear phone case it has a white border but the back is clear so you can see the color of my phone still so here I'm just taking this out and I'm gonna take out this curve board thing so this is what it looks like. It's clear and it just has a white border, kind of. Yeah, it's a white border, but it looks kind of like transparent, but it's not really transparent. So this is like a really cute case. I also like the design of it. It's kind of bumpy on this side, which is cool. But the, And then this side is just smooth. So I actually kind of like this case. That's my first thought on this phone case. So now I'm just going to be turning on my phone. Okay, so now I'm in apps and data. I didn't put up um, a Touch ID or a passcode yet because I'll be setting it up to restore from my iTunes backup. So I'm just clicking that. So now it just says this. So I have my laptop with me and I will be restoring that. You. I forgot like just why I left you I was insane Say, say that blink when I need to song That we need to death into song, okay I know it breaks my voice Now I'm to the city and I broke down my head Boy, it's my cross And I'm looking pretty in a hotel room So it just finished up updating.
thing and it's all like set up here so I just keep a main screen here just so I can look at whatever wallpaper I have for that day or, or for that time period so the next I just have this um, main screen where I just keep all my stuff so I have my phone, my safari, my mail, my music and up here I have calendar I have camera photos TV I'm probably going to delete later um, iBooks and news here in navigation I just have maps and ways I have the weather app context calculator voice memo find my iPhone dictionary flashlight urban dictionary better fonts and my Verizon although I'm probably going to delete urban dictionary later next I have the wallet notes reminders clock App Store, iTunes, Messages, FaceTime, and Settings. Now, in finance, I just have PayPal, um, Amex, Serve, Cricket, Checkpoints, eBay, on the go surveys. And then, here in YouTube, I just have YouTube, um, Creator Studio, AdSense, Affinity, OctoChat, Revfluence, um, Excel Sheets, and Dropbox. In social, I have Instagram, Snapchat, iFunny, Twitter, Unroll Me, Facebook, and Messenger. Next, I have Photography in Photography folder. I just have Facetune, VSEO, Afterlight, Darkroom, Fop Candy, Collegeable, and Wallpapers. And then in the Entertainment folder, I have Netflix, Metro Lyrics, Spotify, Shazam, Flickster, Numbers, TLC Go, Smart Blanket, iMovie, and I'm going to get this app called Overdrive. I don't know if I've already downloaded it. No, I haven't. So, no. And I'm going to download Overdrive, which is... Oh, wait. It might be in my lifestyle folder. So, for games, I just have Carowinds, Cooking Fever, Countdown, Heyday, um, My Horse, My Love, Free Play, License Plates, Duolingo, Power School, Slitherio, NFL Mobile, Mathway, Quizlet, Fly, Hawaii, and Desire. So, yeah. And I'll go back and talk about these in detail. So, The Hunt, Pinterest, Muesli, Dot, Huey Tracker, Blogilates, MyFitnessPal, Starbucks, Up, Health, Amazon, Apple Store, Gas Buddy, Zillow, Cartwheel, Subway, Airbnb, and Overdrive. So, now I'm going to pick like five of my favorite apps I'm going to show you guys in, t in detail so we'll start with Facetune, I really like Facetune because you can edit like any video let's do let's do this one for example picture of my horse you can so now if you just whiten it if I want to make the like hay lighter for example like almost white to make it look better or whatever I could just whiten it like that, so then slowly it becomes white, or I could whiten my horse by doing this, since she's like always dirty. I can whiten her up to make her look pretty, or something like that. So that's what I could do. I can smooth things out, like I can make it just look better. Or... I could make details appear more so if I want to make this more like more like defined I could just use details and make it more defined like so I can make my horse more defined it's just making it look weirder because my folk the fi pictures focus was the hay um what else can I do I can reshape patch patch is really cool so like if I want to patch something up, like if something is in the way, like if I want, if I want uh, less trees, I could just do this, and it'll cover up the trees, kind of, sort of. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So then I could just save it, and that's that. Next, um, I have VSEO, which is a filters app mainly. So 
yeah oh there's where i'm recording my phone and there's where i'm recording me so yeah now you guys know where i keep that and sorry for like the mess there i have like clothes there that i have to put away i also have my camera's bag and then look who's there say hi <laughs> so yeah this is a really cool app too i love that app um another app i have that i love is obviously netflix but i'm sure most of you guys know what netflix is i love heyday i've been obsessed with that game pinterest is my faves as always although since i just restored my phone i'm not logged in of course but um it should be some it should be in the description box of what my pinterest is i'm on there all the time so check that out um the hunt is a really cool app i'm, not, I'm probably not signed yeah i'm not signed into this but basically if you see someone wearing like a cute dress in public you just take a picture of it and um people will find the dress for you and where you can buy it if you want to like replicate the outfit so yeah that's really cool i have my fitness pal which is just um a an app where you could exercise and monitor what you eat throughout the day Gas Buddy is a really cool app if you want to save money and if you drive a lot because it shows you like wherever you are you put in you put you click on Gas Buddy and it'll tell you where your nearest gas station is with the cheapest gas. Airbnb is really cool too. I love Airbnb because it's just nice to look at some of the houses they have there. So that's cool. And Overdrive is an app where I haven't signed in yet but it's basically because I just got my library card renewed today. I've had a library card, but it wasn't renewed, so I had to renew it today, so I'm going to set this up, but this is a really cool app, because, um, you basically just, you basically just, um, borrow a book from your library through your phone, so you can read it right here on your phone without having the mess of, like, books upon book stacks upon book stacks. So, I'm a pretty big reader, so just read without having the mess of books in your house and without having to worry about going to the library coming back and then returning your book when you're done reading it so that was a nice app my next favorite app is cartwheel and this is the last app i'm going to be showing you guys i like this app because they have like i love target and i like to go there a lot so this app basically just has like a bunch of target coupons and like stuff like that so you when you go to target you can make your shopping trip but less expensive so i really love that app a lot so that is those are my apps and i always like to close them out like i'm sorry i'm a little ocd like that i like closing out all my apps so yeah and um, i think that's it and then i just have the tips app there and that's basically what's on my iphone um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on me um doing a video on my iphone that i just got today I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Aww, thank you. Boop! Bring it back. Oh, you're so sweet. Now, puppy, go get ball. Bring it back. Give it. Hey. 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 What I thought.